I think we've seen a lot of it with with Russia, Ukraine, Russia. Uh, in you in Europe. You know, there's a lot of misinformation going around. Um, yeah. I know when uh, the Palestine uh, stuff over in Israel, um, when that first happened, I was watching the news, and there's like three or four different articles about the same thing, but mm-hmm. they were all saying different things. Mm-hmm. It was just the amount of disinformation. It seems like that's a yeah. that's a level of warfare. It's a tactic now. Um, yeah. It's so easy to divide opinions and say, well, we can, we can pit their own you know people against them. Yeah, the misinformation campaign, and we've won the war. Yeah, and so now we we we're at a point in society where you can just curate the information that you want to be true, and you know you can you can go to a source to be told what it is you want to hear, and I I see that all the time, and you know we're we're all sub you know susceptible to bias. I am too, so I'm not on a high horse, but at the same time I do you know I am I am aware you know I I see people that you know, take things at face value because it's exactly what they want to be true all the time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's no other, and, you know, like I'm one of those people that understands how many variables there are in every issue and every life. And, (laughs) and, um, and I, I, sometimes I wish I, I could look at things with a worldview that was just so incredibly simplistic, but, um, you know, I don't think it's healthy. And I, and I think those are the first people that are going to succumb to, you know, the next wave of these big deep fakes and stuff like that. It's, it's not going to matter if, um, you know, I, I can't think of an example. Let's say, you know, Canada didn't actually invade the United States and take over Wisconsin. You know, it's like yeah. <laughs> if, if, if somebody wants to believe that, there will be uh, something online that will show them that that just happened.